Hello everyone, this is Munam from WP Swings and welcome all of you to our channel of WP Swings where we discuss WordPress and WooCommerce solutions that can help you grow your online business which will ultimately assist you to provide a top-notch user experience and customer satisfaction. Hence, stay tuned with our channel to keep getting back-to-back -back product tutorials and interesting updates. So we are on the WordPress dashboard and we are back with another feature series and in this video we are going to discuss about the two new features in this points and rewards for WooCommerce plugin that is gamification and user badges. So basically we will discuss how we can configure these functionalities and with these functionalities how you can improve your customer engagement and boost your sales. So let's quickly hover on WooCommerce and click on points and rewards. So basically when I will scroll down so as you can see that these two features I am going to discuss in this video so that is gamification and user level and badges so basically gamification settings is available in the free version and in the user level and badges it is also available in the free version but uh, one or two features are included in the pro version so that I will be explaining like uh, which feature is included in the pro version and rest all the features are included in the free plugin only. So let's quickly start with the gamification settings. So we are on the gamification settings tab. So here as you can see that the very first field is enable gamification settings. So from here the admin can easily enable this gamification settings uh, like when I will go to like shop page. So here let me go to shop page. As you can see that no gamification feature is coming here. But as soon as I have enabled this and clicked on save settings. So firstly let me go to backend settings. And now let me go to shop page. Let me refresh. So as you can see that our discount win wheel game or you can see that points win wheel game has appeared here. So from here the customers can easily play this game uh, so that it will create a sense of engagement on your store and they can uh, and, and the customers can play the game and get rewarded for the points uh, while playing like when I will click on this so as you can see that there are six segments and here the customer need to click on spin so as soon as uh, the customers will uh, click on spin so the uh, customers will be getting the points as decided from the back end so let's quickly see how to configure these segments and how to decide the points so let's close this and let us go to the back end and if you want to like configure the canvas icon position so it was showing in the middle light because I have selected from here so you can select top left top right middle left bottom left bottom right as per your requirements so let's suppose I have selected like uh, middle right so I want to select like uh, bottom right so I have selected like bottom right next you can also configure or the admin can also configure like uh, on which pages particular pages he wants to show the win wheel like if I want to show on the cart, checkout and shop page. So I have selected these uh, pages on which a win wheel will be shown. Next is choose segments to stop a spinner. So we have also provided this functionality like admin can choose on which particular uh, like uh, segment he wants to uh, he wants the spinner to stop. Or otherwise if you will uh, keep the box empty so the spinner will stop randomly. So the admin can select like uh, leave the box empty and it will stop randomly or he can choose the particular segment on which he wants to stop the spinner. So let me select like segment 1. So let's suppose I have selected segment 1 and the spinner should stop on the segment 1. Next is specify the duration. So basically we have provided this uh, functionality so that the admin can uh, set uh, like limit or cooldown period only after that uh, the customers or user can play the game like is if i have written like one day so once the customer or uh, like basically once the user has played the game so and if the duration has selected one day so after one day uh, he can play the next win wheel game before that he cannot play that game or win wheel will not be appear for him so basically all this win wheel game is uh, only available for the registered user it will not be available for the guest users and if you will uh, leave the box empty so no duration will be there so the customers can registered customers can play n number of times they want next is uh, win wheel segments next is win wheel segment settings so we have provided these settings so that the admin can easily decide like what will be the segment name 
and what will be the segment points for that particular segments and if you wants to change the font size and segment color so from here we have provided these customizations so basically by default uh, these six segments are provided to uh, to complete a win wheel and if the admin wants to add more segments so from here he can easily click on this plus icon and add the segment a uh, new segment like i have selected like segment 7 so like i have selected segment 7 and i have given the uh, segment points as 12 and segment font size i have selected 15 and the color i have selected uh, let me change this so like i have selected this color font size and points and this segment and let me add one more segment segment 8 and I have given the points as 13 and I have selected the font size as this and now let me change the color. So uh, this is how the admin can easily add more segments uh, like uh, as per his requirements. So basically by default six segments are mandatory and rest for the segments that have been added after six segments. So they can be deleted or uh, if the admin wants to add more segments so he can quickly add from it here. And if I will scroll up and let me uh, change the segment to segment 8. So as you can see that now the option is not coming here because uh, for now it is only showing segment 6 because we have not clicked on save changes. So firstly let me click on save changes. And now let me uh, select for uh, like segment 8. So I want to uh, stop the spinner at segment 8 and which should reward the customer with 13 points so now let me uh, click on save changes so all the configuration and settings uh, have been done from this back end and now let us go to the shop page uh, let me click on this so as you can see that for now six segments are coming so now let me refresh this and now let me click on this so as you can see that now eight segments are appearing here. So from here the customers can easily click on this and click on spin. So as you can see that the win wheel, the win wheel has started spinning. So as you can see that the win wheel has, has stopped on the segment eight and the customer and uh, the customer who has uh, spin the wheel. So uh, he will get 13 points as selected from the back end and we have selected the points as 13. Uh, so as you can see that the duration has not been set so the customers can spin the wheel uh, as much as they want like so let me click on claim now so we have got 13 points and and as you can see that again the spinner is coming here so as you can see that the again uh, again spinner has come here so this is because uh, like we have not specified uh, the days like for which the customers uh, will play the next time so let me again click on spin so again it has stopped on segment 8 and 13 points we have got so let me click on claim now and when i will go to the back end and i have decided the duration as one day and let me click on save changes and here let me refresh this and now when i will click on this and let me spin this So it has stopped on segment 8 as usual and let me click on claim now. And now let me again refresh this. So as you can see that now the discount win wheel is not coming here because uh, we have already played one time and we have selected the duration one day. So after one day the win wheel game will appear. So like uh, the admin can easily decide like after which particular days or after n days uh, the spin wheel game should appear for that particular customer. And now uh, let me go again to the backend settings. So this was all about the gamification settings and this is only included uh, and this and this is included in the free version of the plugin that is points and rewards for WooCommerce. And now let me go to the user level and badges. So we are on the user level and badges settings. So from here, the admin can easily enable the functionality of badges. So from here, uh, from this functionality, the admin can easily enable this functionality of badges and user level. Next, if he wants to show the user badges on the my account page. So from here, the admin can easily enable this and the admin can also decide the badge position. Like from here, the admin can easily decide like 
the position of the badges which will be shown on the my account page like center left or right so let's suppose i have selected center next is uh, here the admin can also uh, configure the badges settings like badges name uh, and what will uh, what is the threshold point and what will be the reward points and he can also upload the images of the badges and one more thing you need to understand like like let's suppose if the customer is having uh, like uh, 50 points and if he has spent all the 50 points then also the total points he has got is 50 points and let's suppose if the for the uh, badge one eligibility we have selected like threshold points to be 50 so as soon as his 50 points are completed so the badge will be rewarded for this uh, particular point and the points will be rewarded as per the selection in the back end like for the batch one the threshold points for the customers should have 10 points then he will get like 30 points and if the batch two uh, threshold points should be 20 and the reward point should be like uh, uh, like if i have selected threshold point should be 200 and the reward point should be 100 and here uh, i have added this image like from here you can easily upload the image and with this pro version plugin you can add like user badges more like if you wants to add more badges so from here you can easily add but in the free version we only provide two badges for now so let me click on save changes and now let me go to the front end so for now i have selected like uh, like badges one the threshold point uh, if for the customer it should have 10 points so he will be rewarded with 30 points and for badge 2 it should have 200 points the reward point should be uh, 100 and let me now go to the shop page and log in with the new user so i have logged in with the new user so let me go to the shop page and here as you can see that uh, the spin wheel uh, spin uh, spin win wheel game is appearing here because i have logged in with the new user so let me spin it So like I have got 13 points now. So now like I have got 13 points. So let me go to my account. And here let me click on reward points. So as you can see that uh, this particular user uh, has got badge 1. And uh, we have total points of 43. So let me click on view points log. So like for this gamification claim points we have got 13 points. And badge level points we have got 30 points. Because from the back end uh, like we have got like. Uh, we have selected like the points for the badge one should be 30 so as you can see that for badge one like the threshold points for th uh, threshold points for 10 and firstly we have played the game and we have got 13 points so we have crossed the threshold value of 10 that was 13 so the points uh, rewarded uh, for that particular customer so that is 30 so 30 plus 13 that uh, counts to 43 so as you can see that the total points is 43 and for that particular uh, like points we have got like a uh, badge one as you can see that congratulations you have earned badge one for earning 43 points so this is how the admin can easily configure these uh, badges and the threshold points value and what the point should be rewarded to the customers as per his requirements so basically these functionalities of like user badges setting user level and gamification will definitely help the woocommerce merchants uh, to boost the sales and increase the customer engagement on his store so this was all about the gamification features and user level and badges feature the links to the product have been mentioned in the video's description you can check and get all the details if you are facing any queries regarding the plugin functionalities so you can mention your queries in the comment section and we will be glad to help you and if you are new to our channel make sure to subscribe to our channel like the video and press the bell notification icon to get all the latest update related to our channel until the next video stay connected with us thank you